bore matching your projectile to your barrel. Why is it important? In this video, we're gonna to explain to you why and how you should bore match your projectiles. It's, it's critical for the uh, optimal power with less blow-by and less chance of uh, lower FPS due to sticking and, uh, and potentially jams. So stay tuned. I want to take a few minutes to go through the way that I size my uh, round balls for my barrel. I think it's an important exercise that everyone should do with, with new rounds. And I've got these organized into, into groups, uh, which I call rollers. These are the, the small balls, which can be jewels and burn a kinetic rounds. I've got uh, what I call stickers, which are the ones that will stick in the barrel and they require just a light tap and then they'll come out. And then I have others that are just, just too big for the barrel and I'll show you how we handle those. So first of all, the, the smallest ones that I have are the Berna. These are the Berna kinetic rounds. They're, they're the little three gram balls. They're, they're slightly undersized for the pepper ball TCP barrel. This is a 0 0.686 rifle barrel. And, and, it, and you can see, you just put them in, give them a tap, they fall right through um, every time. I've never had one of these stick. You can see, it just falls right through the barrel and there's no, uh, no resistance. So these, so these just go right through. Now I also have separated out what I call rollers and these are Jewel V1. Uh, and, and there's not that many, actually, the Jewel V1s. Most of them are actually ideal for the Pepper Ball TCP, but there, there are some. That, that also are too small. They roll right through, and, and I'll show you a few of those. These are um, Jewel V1s, and, and these also just, just fall right through. And, and the one thing that you keep in mind is that, that these are not perfect, may not be perfectly spherical, so to get a true accurate representation, you actually do need to rotate the ball and try it a couple different times, a couple different ways, because if you do find the right orientation, it, it'll stick, or it may stick, but these are the ones that after many tries, never stick. And so these, these are my small ones. And, and I, I can tell you these, the small ones I don't use for anything involving self-defense. These are just extra rounds that sort of are extras. They're disposable. You can shoot them outside. You can lose them. It's not a big deal. Then there are the stickers. The stickers are the ones that I use um, because I feel like they're perfectly sized. And these are the ones that when you look at it and actually take a picture and I'll show you some pictures at the end of what the perfect size looks like. Now these will stick, but they may not stick every time. So here I push through and it stuck. So you heard it click, so it's in. You can't, you can't really push it through that easily, but if you just take a little tool, this a little plastic garden supply that I use, give it, give it a couple taps and it'll come right out. Sometimes it only takes a tiny little tap. Sometimes it takes more depending on how they got wedged in there. So that clicked in, a little tap, comes out, put another one in. See so that one went through. Put another tap, a very gentle tap comes out. So these, if you, if you try them multiple times, they will stick You know, one, once every couple times or maybe they'll stick every time, but they don't stick very hard. These don't require very much effort to get them out. And so I call these the ones that I consider perfectly matched for the bore of the pepper ball TCP barrel. And so the next ones that I would characterize would be the, the ones that are too big. And, and I'll show you these here. Now these, they're just too big. Let's try another one. Okay, there is one clicked into place. And these, these are in there and you have to really force it out. And of course, some of them, if you get it, it just the perfect orientation, it'll come out, but they're a little bit bigger in terms of the size. That one clicked in. It's a lot harder to get out. Just do one more. Clicks in. Now, one more time. So that one's really in there. And then some of them are in there so, so good that you actually have to put them back out 
the way the way they came. But there is a use for the the ones that are too large. This is a nine inch eBay barrel. This is smooth bore. This is one of the ones that was too large for the um, pepper ball TCP barrel. But you can see with a with a few taps on the nine inch barrel, it'll come out. And um, and this is an option for the larger ones, uh, since the bore size on the, on the eBay barrel is a little bit bigger. I don't think the, the quality control on these is nearly as good as most barrels that you would buy from Lapco or Grimberg or other companies, but this is a, it's a very cheap option for leftover rounds, which may be too big. You don't have to use the barrel all the time. Once you've done some, some tests with your rounds in your actual barrel, this is a lot easier, a lot more user-friendly. I don't trust these in terms of the actual numbers. Um, maybe it's just the, the cheap one that I have here and I'm not gonna say which brand it is, but what you can do is find the hole where it doesn't fall through. And, and you have to try a few times. And I think this one is, is somewhere right in here. No, right here. So, and it, and it may not fall through every time. So there it's, it's not gonna fall through, but if you rotate it just a little bit, it'll go through. And you do it again, if it sits, you rotate it just a little bit, and it falls through. And you do that a couple times with, with your round. And, and once you find the right hole that matches that round and it'll, it'll sit in place most of the time with, with just a little rotation and it falls through, then you found the right hole. And then you use that hole for sizing all of the rest of your projectiles. And it's a lot easier than using your barrel. When you pass these Grimberg rounds through the barrel, you will scuff up the, you, you will have some residue on the inside of the barrel. So after you've passed a bunch of these rounds through, you're gonna need to clean your barrel. So it'll be shiny and looking good again. Um, but that's the only disadvantage. Uh, you, can, you can use your barrel, but, but something like this certainly makes it easier as well.